equals 10. This is our equation 1. Then x, y equals 10 is our equation 2. But then from equation 1, okay, from equation 1, we have x plus y equals 10. Now x is 10 minus y. Let's call this our equation 3. Now put this into equation 2. We will now have x, y equals 10 will now be 10 minus y. Then we multiply by y. This is equal to 10. Then we open the bracket. 10 times y, that is 10y, minus this squared, you know, minus y times y is minus y squared. This is equal to 10. Now, we have minus y squared plus 10y, then minus 10 equals 0. If you bring everything to the same side. And uh, we need to remove this negative, so we're going to have positive y squared. That will turn this sign here to become minus 10y. This becomes plus 10. And then we equate to 0. Now, we have a quadratic equation. And um, this equation has a to be 1, b to be minus 10, and c to be plus 10. Now, the equation is y equals minus b plus or minus i mean the formula we're going to use quadratic formula for this y equals minus b plus or minus we have b squared minus 4ac as we divide all through by 2 times a so y now is minus b this minus b becomes um minus minus 10 then plus or minus b squared that will be minus 10 in brackets squared then we have minus 4 times 1 times 10 because a is 1 and c is 10 oh i didn't write c there c is 10 so all of that will be divided by 2 times 1 so that's y will be plus 10 now okay then plus or minus one um ten squared minus ten squared is one hundred. Then minus one, four times one times ten is forty. Then we will now divide this by two. So y will be ten plus or minus. We have we have square root of forty minus one hundred minus forty, and that is um sixty as we divide by 2 right now let's break this 60 into 2 y is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 60 60 right there is 4 multiplied by 16 okay it's 15 4 multiplied by 15 then we divide it by 2 Okay, so y will now be 10 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we have square root of 15 as we divide this by 2. So y now is 10 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 15 over 2. 2 will go here, so y is 5, plus or minus 2 will go there, we have root 15. And um, this means that our y is equal to 5 plus root 15, or 5 minus root of 15. And then remember that we still had, um, we have from um, our equation 3, which is um, x 
equals 10 minus y. So now that we have the value of y, we can put it here to get our corresponding value of x. So x will now be 10 minus, what is y here? 5 plus root 15, right? Then before you simplify this, you're expected to open the bracket. So x will be 10. Okay, so our x is going to be 10. We have 10 minus 5. Then the negative will affect this. So we have negative root 15. And then if we go ahead, x will be 10. 10 minus 5, that will be 5. Then we have minus root 15. Okay, remember that when x is this, we already had our y to be what? 5 plus root 15. So when x is 5 minus root 15, y is 5 plus root 15. And then let us, you know, get the second value of y. Remember, our equation 3 is still x equals 10 minus y, right? Okay, so now our y is 5, okay, 5 minus root 15. So if we put this in now, we're going to have again x to be 10 minus 5, and this turns to plus root 15, because negative times negative is positive. Our, our x from here is 10 minus 5 is 5, then we have plus root 15. And this equally means that when x is 5 plus 15, Okay, plus root 15, our y is equal to 5 minus what? The square root of 15. So, we have solved this problem, you know, into detail. So, this will be the value of x and y, right? And then the one we got before can also be the value of x and y.